right, Angela, if you can, uh, I think Lori uh, uh, might be on there. I'm I'm not sure. This is good. I don't know what's going to happen here. All right. I mean, what, did you just get a text? And I did. Have you I seen his did. bike? Uh, huh? Have you seen Jeff Bodine's bike? No. Yes. Kind of no, I've not, yeah. really I've not seen it. Yeah. yeah. Really? It's fast. Uh, are, we call, are we calling? Hey, welcome to the 99. You are on the air? I'm on the air. You are on the air. Is this, is this Lori? <laughs> this is 12. You just uh, you just sent me a message a second ago. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, re- it's been a, a, a real busy day, and, and we uh, we have uh, the right hand hasn't known what the left hand uh, is doing. But, yes, you are on the 99% radio network. Welcome, as Lori. We speak. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping that uh, we'd love to talk to you as well. I'm hoping Jeff is uh, sitting there by you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, right here. Hey, <laughs> so let me give a give a proper introduction. Listen, uh, for all those that are uh, listening to the ninety nine percent radio network, we have on the air. This is a real treat. We have NASCAR legend, and I mean NASCAR legend, one of the winningest uh, winning race. Is well, winning, 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 winning is, is that a word? Most Where'd winning, you go to school? Know. He's one of the most winning racers. Ever. Winning racers, winning, not winning this. Hey, English is not my forte. Okay, <laughs> Kentucky. Come on, man, winning this. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, said. Jeff and Lori Bodine. Welcome uh, to the this, show. This, this guy is a Hall of Famer. He's he's like set. Mul- I think he still holds. Jeff, do you still hold the Guinness Book World Records for most win in a season? Yeah, the most wins in any NASCAR series. Right. Yep. I think it was fifty-six. Sure right. Wow. Is that Fifty-five correct? out of eighty-four starts. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's with the, with the Cup Series. That's huge. That is huge, man. And the other, the other starts, I just got tired in, and I I had, couldn't race. Had to quit. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we yep. never got beat. <laughs> so I gotta I gotta interrupt here, Jeff. Are you ready for this, my friend? Do you, I'm not sure. Do you remember seeing that Gary Michael show for the very first time in 2019 when I was hypnotizing those crazy ass people? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy I look forward to seeing you yeah. this year, brother. Hey, well, that that was quite a quite a show. One of our friends was up there, and she ended up feeling herself up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're almost was, scared to be in the studio with him, Jeff. He's going to snap his yeah, fingers, and we're going to all start dancing at one point. Yeah, I wouldn't get too close. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't let him. Don't let him hypnotize you. Well, Jeff, I got to tell you, the show is going to be a whole lot better and different this year than what we had back in 2019. And I really look forward to seeing you again, my friend. Well, I don't know how it can be better. It was it was a riot. It was very good. Well, thank yeah, you. we're looking forward to seeing you again. Uh, we missed it last couple of years. Whenever, yeah. Well. It's always a, always a pleasure to hang out with you and your friends. And I'll tell you, it was funny because Jeff, when he first met, he looked at me. And we're talking. He's talking about the show and how much fun he had. And he goes, "Do you like NASCAR?" I went, "Yeah, I like NASCAR. I mean, I knew the Earnhardts, and uh, I worked at a radio station in Richmond, covered all the races." He goes, "Well, I'm Jeff Bodine." I go, "No, you're not. <laughs> Take your damn glasses off and let me look at your face." And sure enough, it was Jeff Bodine. There he was. <laughs> you sure? I wasn't on that cruise. What's that? I wasn't on that cruise. You can yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Was He's trying to backpedal. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> now, Jeff, no, you were on we, the cruise last a, year. We, we, go ahead. You were on the cruise last year, correct? Yeah. Now, and you're coming back this year. Tell our listeners what to expect, man. I mean, on the high seas rally. Because, you know, they hear it every week from us. We build it up. We, and we say how great it is, but people are probably going, oh, man, I, you know, we're tired of hearing about Sideshow and 12 discussing how great it is. From you, the legend of NASCAR, tell us what you thought about the High Seas Rally. Well, we think so much about it. We, Lori and I have been on it 13 times so mm. far. I guess this would be our 14th. And, you know, it, it, number one, it's for a great cause. We, uh, you know, folks that need, people that need uh, dialysis treatments, are invited on, and they get the doctors or all the equipments there. So, you know, you have to get those treatments, what, every three days or you don't make it. So that's the only way they can have a real vacation, and some of these people have never had one. So it's really, that's what it's all about. Yeah. But 
beyond that, it's called fun. F U N. Yes. We all have fun. <laughs> it's it's uh, you know the the dress up nights. Uh, we love the the redneck night, the pirate night, uh, the sixties or seventy night. I mean, they're all fun. You just yeah. dress up and have a great time. Don't bring your suit on board a, a high seas rally. You don't need a suit or a tie. Just bring some t-shirts, and if you're a biker, bring your leathers, and just have fun. And of course, like I said, the main thing is all the uh, the people on there that need the treatments. And towards the end of the cruise, they have a big uh, uh, auction. And Lori and I always bring something that's autographed by NASCAR racers. And, you know, a lot of racers are on these right. in the high seas rallies. Yeah. <laughs> and this year, we have a guitar signed by, you know, this year was the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. Mm-hmm. And they have the 75 greatest NASCAR drivers. And, of course, I'm one of them. I was one of the 50, so now I'm one of the 75. But we have the autographs of all the living 75 wow. greatest NASCAR drivers on this guitar. It's blue. It's beautiful. I can't play it, so don't ask me to play it. <laughs> we'll get Lita Ford to play it. And Lori says she'll, she'll get up there and dance if you can play it. <laughs> We've got to play a good song now, Some mm. something, Tanya Tucker song. or uh, uh, You know, last year we had some really great groups on there singing. And... Uh, what were they? Foghat. Yeah, Foghat. They're friends of ours. Oh yeah, exactly. Foghat. Those guys were amazing. They they they, yeah, they rocked the boat just like uh, the oh, Outlaws yeah. are going to do this year, and Lita Ford and George Thorogood. You know the the entertainment on the High Seas Rally is top of the top of the t- cream of the top, yeah. cream of the crop, man. Yes, they they do not yeah. fall short on entertainment. I I think. Jeff, uh, that the High Seas Rally staff uh, took a, a, a page out of the NASCAR playbook because they have made the, the setup is such, and as you know from, from being there, um, everybody is so approachable. Everybody is so accessible. You never know who you're going to hop in the elevator with. You never know who you're going to meet at the bar at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I remember uh, my partner Sideshow dragging in like at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning after having pizza with uh, the guys from Fog Hat. No, no. Uh, it was Steel, Steel Rod, Steel man. Rod. Sorry, Those Steel guys Rod. were amazing, man. It was, uh, it was so laid back. It was like sitting in your living room and just listening to the tunes. And yeah. it, was, it was relaxing. You know, it was, yeah, wasn't yeah. like uh, crazy. No, everyone's great. And, you know, we're all people. And uh, um, they they get uh, these bands and uh, celebrities that come on there, and you wouldn't know they're celebrities or, or band members. They're just all, they're, we're all people. We like to have fun. That's right. We do have yeah. fun. We're at the pool. We're, I'm in my thong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's right. well, that's my I, I wonder, Sideshow, if it was if it was Jeff. You remember when we had that contest when it was one half of the boat against the other? Yeah. And, oh, and I think maybe it was. He said, "Hey, first person to to get their bathing suit up here at the I, thing wins." It may have been and Jeff. Then we saw that that thong come shooting over the top. It may have been Jeff. I wonder if it was him. I wonder. I wonder. We'll see. Maybe this year. <laughs> hey, hold on a second, Jeff. Wonder if you could sign that thong and let's auction that off. Uh, I don't want to touch that thong. But you know, we, go, we go down and we we go down and, and anyone could go down and visit the, uh, the the patients when they're getting their treatments. Uh, it's not a pretty sight. It, you know, it's terrible, but uh, they love they love chatting and talking yeah. and telling their stories and. Uh, you know, it isn't just uh, the older people, folks like me, uh, that have, I don't have, I'm not a diabetic, but young people are getting that disease now. And yeah. it's so sad. It, it really is. And, you know, you brought up the good point before, man. These people are, uh, who, who suffer from di- diabetes, uh, well, that are on dialysis, um, mm-hmm. they are 
virtual prisoners in their home, they, their vacations they, they can't take because they have to go two, three, four times a week sometimes. So they do not yeah. have the accommodations. And the High Seas Rally really went above and beyond and made these accommodations for 10 families to bring their doctors, the dialysis machines on board, and really giving them a, a trip of a lifetime. So when we, that's what the High Seas Rally is all about. It's about making a difference with the Wounded Warrior Project and raising money for these families that are in need. And, you know, there is no other vacation you want to go on where you can enjoy yourself with top-of-the-line entertainment and still make a difference raising money and, and doing charitable work, man. And, that, and, that, and that's what every bit of humanity means. Absolutely. You know, it's not flying to Hawaii to go dance on the beach. It's not going to the Cayman Islands, you know, with two... It's making a difference and enjoying yourself with like-minded individuals. And I tell you, the High Seas Rally is probably going to be uh, going on for years after we're gone because this is one of the best trips Anybody can ever and say. And this year, I'm hypnotizing Jeff Bodine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be hypnotized. I, I want you to try. I really do. Okay, I'm, I'm hey, we'll give it a shot, man. I got. Uh, some, I'd like to see yeah. that. I got some new tricks up my sleeve, Jeff. He may change hey, it into like I, Earnhardt or something, you know. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Yeah, all right, just. When I go under, just don't have me take my clothes off. <laughs> I won't hey, let that happen that again. Be, <laughs> hey, Jeff, I, I want I want to get I want to get your take on uh, or a recent accident that just happened in NASCAR. Um, you know, what is it? Kevin Pierce was that his name? Kevin Pierce, I think uh, it is. Uh, no, over no, at Daytona, Ryan, huh? Ryan Priest. Ryan, Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest. Yeah, uh, Ryan Priest yeah. Man, he barrel rolled in Daytona. Now, for those who who are NASCAR fans, and this is coming from Jeff, you know. Going 200 miles an hour around a, tri a track or 210 or 15 miles an hour around a track and being in one of those uh, horrific accidents, what, it, what, what is something that, I mean, Jeff, you would only know, we would never know that feeling to barrel roll or to flip a car at the, those speeds. What is something that uh, goes through you? What, what, do you even have a chance to think about something like that? Well, every time I've crashed, I've been knocked out. <laughs> so I don't remember. The <laughs> but no, I have, I, I did flip over at Charlotte one time and what happens, it gets real quiet and that's, that's okay. But you know, it's not going to last. And then you hit bounce around and you, know, you hope you don't hit anything solid because that's how you get hurt. All that flipping and twisting and turning really wasn't a bad thing, you know, but because he, Ryan didn't hit, the ground real hard. He did on his top, but uh, it jarred him a little bit, of course, but uh, he survived it. Yeah, you, if you run into a wall at 200 miles an hour, that really hurts. I've done that a <laughs> yeah. few times. And, yeah, yeah, that uh, hurts. You know, we saw the late, late so, Dale Earnhardt just bumped a wall, and uh, it didn't look like he hit very hard, but it's not the hardness that uh, matters. It's how you hit. So, uh, unfortunately, he didn't make it. But Ryan made it. Uh, actually, he he signed uh, the guitar before the race. I was chatting with. He's a modified guy, so you know we had a lot to talk about. And uh, he signed a guitar. So the flipper, the flipper, Ryan Priest, flipper. He's, on, he's on the guitar. Hey, <laughs> hey, Jeff. Speaking of the flipper, I just uh, saw a video of a crash that you were involved in. I didn't catch what the raceway was, but you were in a truck. And you went up into the fence and caught fire, then got went back down to the track and got hit and caught on fire again. Tell people what it's like to be on Ooh. fire where you're rolling at uh, Rick, Ricky Bobby. You know, I'm on, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't run out of track and take my uniform off. No, no. It, it, yeah, there's, let's see, that wreck uh, was in 2000 and the first time they ran the, the, the trucks at Daytona and we were running really good and I, uh, when I hit the wall, some trucks ahead of me wrecked and it shot me right into the wall, knocked me out immediately. Uh, so all the flipping and stuff, I've seen the videos and the pictures and all that. It was quite spectacular, I call it. And I landed on the racetrack on the side of the truck, but the top was gone and the whole front was cut off where the engine flew down the track and all that. You know, I, I'm blessed to, to survive that crash. That's one of those crashes, uh, everyone thought that I hadn't survived, but, uh, you know, Lord 
definitely reached down there and protected me. And, Absolutely. Uh, so I'm blessed to be here, and I'm blessed to uh, be able to be involved in the High Seas Rally. Yeah. Lori and I just love it. One And there's one time I couldn't go, and he, we had the late Dick Trickle show up in my place with Lori, and uh, he was a hit. Mm. He, he's like you guys, close the bar. <laughs> they wait, get up till noon, but they loved him. And, wait, uh, Jeff, you think you know me? I mean, really? <laughs> you you already admitted that. I did. I did admit that. That's Jeff, when did you when did you start? When did you when was your first race? When did you start off in racing? Uh, I, I'm a farm kid upstate New York, and my parents and grandfather built a racetrack when I was five years old. Wow! And my father built me a little little racer when I was five, and so I started racing when I was five. I had uncles that raced, so I learned of racing from them. I learned how to work from my parents. and uh, But I didn't get to race full-time. Uh, my parents wouldn't let me race. It was a dirt track. They wouldn't let me race until I graduated from high school and uh, had a driver's license, of course. Mm. But. The story is, and I'm writing a book. The book will be out in about five months. Nice. Hopefully, uh, TBN Network is is publishing it for me. Oh wow! Because, well, you, you know, the Lord has been a big part of my life, and I didn't realize it until 1982, when I had everything I wasn't happy, and then I discovered, well, hey, and a little voice came in my head: uh, "You don't have me in your life." Right. So that's when I started searching for uh, God and faith and all that. And, uh, of course, the crash in Daytona, there's no question uh, he reached down and, and protected me there because that kind of wreck you can't survive. And uh, But I wanted to race when I was about 16. You know, I raced go-karts, but my parents wouldn't let me race the big car. So I came up with an idea. Every once a month, my father was a promoter. He'd have a powder puff derby for the girls, and they're really good. And uh, I borrowed a car from one of my cousin's uh, boyfriend. I borrowed a wig from my cousin. <laughs> That's a true story. It'll be in the book. And uh, I entered the powder puff derby. And I was leading the race, and with a couple laps to go, and I said, man, I can't win this race. My father always gave the winner a a hug, a kiss, and a trophy. <laughs> and so I had to shut the car off and coast out. My parents didn't know I did that until their 50th wedding anniversary. Wow. My mother still pointed her finger at me and told me I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Jeff, it, it would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be sideshow if I didn't say this, so please do not take offense to us. So you are the first transgender... Oh, <laughs> you, are, you are the first transgender wow. NASCAR wow. driver that went into the Powerpuff series. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I've done a lot of firsts in my guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, you beat me too. Because that's exactly what was going through my head, man. I'm hey, like, you know, I'm <laughs> hey Jeff, I I uh, prior to the show a couple weeks back when we first started reaching out, um, I was doing my uh, my due diligence and and I watched a, a podcast with uh, Dale Jr. and I don't know the other yeah. fellow's name that was on his show, but he, they were talking about your just legendary feud with uh with dale earnhardt and so i i was reading about that and you i just saw something that was really really cool and it would make a great picture uh on that video on that wreck that we were talking about a few minutes ago someone snapped a picture and it showed uh the number three and the number eight flags flying right and your your vehicle on fire was uh framed up in that picture and uh it it, it it's uh, actually would make a pretty iconic um photograph given how legendary your relationship with the earnharts uh especially dale uh senior uh, was i i just saw that it's cool i had to comment on it because yeah. it, it yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, dale yeah. had already passed uh, mm -hmm. in that uh, after that uh, picture was taken but or before that picture was taken well, it's Jeff, you there's remember a, you. There's Jeff, a t-shirt I see coming out. Jeff, you'll remember this. If you don't, I'll send it to you. There's a picture of me, Daryl Worley, Way Jennings, and Jeff Bodine on the cruise in 2019. That's the most iconic picture you're ever going to need <laughs> right there. Yeah, that's definitely a t-shirt right there. Daryl called us. Daryl, well, I took that picture, showed it to him. Daryl goes, 
Those are the High Seas Rally All Stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's, man, we're we're going to have some really... fun. And Jeff, you are. Yeah. Uh, my show has uh, evolved since uh, nineteen, and I'm going to show you some different stuff, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Well, you know what I what I tell everybody about the High Seas Rally is you you go on it, you'll have fun and, and for a good cause. And if you don't have fun, I'll give you money back. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Now, now, of course, I yeah. can't give their money back, but that's but, how much I'm positive that you're going to have fun when you go on this high seas rally. There's no question you're going to have fun. Absolutely, yeah. that's a hundred percent correct statement, right there, man. Because if you didn't have fun, it's your own fault. If you don't have fun, you it's your own fault. If you get hypnotized and take your clothes off, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to jump in. That would probably be my fault. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, Jeff, um, we're coming up on uh, on our hard break here at, at 5 o'clock. Just want to say thank you so much yes. uh, for for calling in. Uh, we appreciate. We can't wait to to see and talk to you. Uh, I'd like to extend an invitation now. Uh, I don't know if you uh, uh, like to smoke cigars or or ever drink any bourbon or whiskey or anything like that. But the ninety nine uh, percent radio network is hosting the uh, the sip and smoke uh, sip and smoke honoring our sip veterans. And sport. <laughs> I almost said that, didn't I? <laughs> Honoring yeah. our uh, our veterans uh, on the cruise, and and uh, we'd love to have you come and sit down and and share some of your stories uh, live with us. And so, thank you. I know you're a busy man. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on the air with us today. Appreciate it. I was a veteran. I'm a veteran. So, uh, and I've never had a drink of bourbon or smoked a cigar or, or, or swore or anything like that. So, I, I don't know if I can show up for that little. <laughs> Well, Gary will hypnotize you into that. Yeah. My wife, Lori, is here, and she's the one that called you, so I think she might show up. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll take her. We'll take her, yeah. too. <laughs> Jeff, we'll yeah. see you on the ship, brother. Well, we're looking forward to it, guys. And uh, anyone out there that hasn't signed up for the high seas rally, there's still time. And uh, I guarantee if you don't have fun, these guys are going to give you money back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for taking the time, brother. Okay. See you, see you hey, in October. Okay, our pleasure. See you then. Take care. Bye. Wow. Man, you, all Jeff didn't, Bodine, you guys man. didn't get Bodine. to hang out with him last year? No. No, no. I, I, I no. tried multiple times oh, to find no, him. Dude, and, uh, I met Jeff last year in the, uh, remember that private remember, bar? Yeah, you, That yeah. private bar off the top. The yeah. top. Yeah, I went in there and uh, I ended up having a drink with Jeff uh, last year. Uh, I don't think he remembers. Um, but yeah, we we were talking, and uh, that's when uh, Molly Hatch was up there, yeah. and a couple other guys were up there. So, uh,